so good morning class it is your lecture number 6 refraction of light today we will study the lens formula okay so before studying the lens formula we have to know sign convention okay so suppose we have a lens it has two part one is uh, one uh, one is left this is left portion and this is right portion okay so all the distances we will measure from the optical center so every distance we will measure it will be measured from optical center okay so the distance is measured towards the left from the lens the distance is measured towards the left will be negative so all the distances we will measure towards the left will be negative and all the distances measured towards the right will be positive clear so left side and right side so all the distances toward left will be negative all the distances toward towards right will be positive so this is our principal axis so this divides the plane into two parts above the principal axis and below the principal axis so if we are measuring the distances above the principal axis it will be always positive okay and if we are uh, measuring the distances below the principal axis it will be negative so either it is in left side or in right side if we are measuring the distances above the principal axis it will be positive okay so above the principal axis either it is towards the left side or right side it will be always positive okay and below the principal axis it will be negative either it is towards right or left so this is the sign convention we will follow in our numericals okay now lens formula so lens formula is the formula which gives the relationship between the focal length the position of image and position of object so it is given by 1 upon f is equals to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u so this is our lens formula okay this is very similar with mirrors formula but in mirrors formula we uh, we had this positive sign okay but now it is negative so lens formula is 1 upon f is equals to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u now what is f v and u you already know f is the focal length of the lens u is the position of the image what is position of image so position of image is the distance between the optical center and the image okay so v sorry it is v v is the position of the image it is the distance between optical center and the image means the distance between optical center and the image is called v okay u is the position of object similarly position of object is the distance between optical center and the object i already told you that all the distances will be measured from optical center clear so if we are measuring the distance from optical center to the image it will be the position of image if we are measuring the distance distance from optical center to the object it will be our position of object u so here you can see the diagram we have a convex lens and this is principal axis this is true for uh, all the lenses either it is convex or concave so suppose this is object and this is image okay so the distance between the optical center and the object is our u means position of object and the distance between the optical center and image is our position of image v clear so one thing you have to keep in mind that object will be always placed left to the lens okay so object will be always placed left to the lens now you might be thinking sir why are we not placing the object towards the right side yes we can place the object towards the right side its image will be formed uh, to the left for simple for simplicity we take object towards the left side okay this is only for simplicity there is no restriction but this uh, this notation or uh, this strategy will um, help us in the solving the numerical okay 
now next is magnification so what is magnification we have two definition of magnification one is mathematical definition so mathematical definition tells us the magnification is the ratio of height or we can say size of the image to the height or size of the object okay it is noted by m so why we using this definition this definition help us solving problem related to the size of image and object okay so we will do uh, uh, some numericals further on but it uh, this definition will help us in solving those numericals clear so magnification is the ratio of the height of the image to the height of the object okay so magnification is equals to h prime by h so h prime is the height or we can say size of the object now if size is given it means height of the image is given okay so h prime is the height of given a height, height of the image where m is the sorry m is not height m is magnification this is misprinted this is misprinted m is magnification okay and h is the height or size of the object so m is the magnification h prime is the height or we can say size of image h is the height or size of the object so this is the mathematical definition of magnification now the geometrical definition of magnification is magnification is a number which tells us how much the size of the image of the object is increased or decreased okay suppose we have object and its image is formed so by magnification we can tell how much size is increased okay how much size is increased or we can say how much size is decreased so we can say by the magnification if we have the magnification then we can tell either the size is increased either the size is decreased how much size is decreased and how much size is increased okay so this definition help us in visualization of the image okay we have object we have image so we can visualize that if image is enlarged or not okay so magnification is a number and this number may be 1 2 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 1.5 1.95 2.5 6 any number magnification can be any number okay so magnification can be also written in terms of position of object u and position of object v so the formula for magnification is v upon u so we have two formula for magnification one is m is equals to h prime by h second one is m is equals to v upon u okay we know that what is v and what is u v is the position of image and u is the position of object for example suppose we have magnification is equals to minus 2 okay magnification is equals to minus 2 so minus sign tells us it is the nature minus sign tells us about the nature of the image okay so we will separately see the sign and we will separately see the value so value tells us the size either it is increased or decreased here it is 2 it means twice if this is 1 by 2 it means half okay so the number gives me the size whereas the sign give me the gives me the nature okay so how if sign is positive if the sign of magnification is positive then our image will be virtual and erect clear it is always true okay if the sign of magnification is positive the nature of image will be virtual and erect if the size of image is negative then it is real and inverted so here you can see the sign is negative it means it is real and inverted okay what can we tell about the size so if size if the value of m is less than 1 means size is diminished diminished means the size of image will be will be lesser than the size of object 
okay if the magnification is equals to 1 then the size of image will be equal to the size of the object now if magnification is greater than 1 then it will be enlarged now from this example what we can conclude if magnification of an image is equals to minus 2 then minus signs tells about the real and inverted and size means 2 2 which is greater than 1 means enlarged so this image is the uh, what are the um, uh, characteristics of this image it will be real and inverted and enlarged okay so let's try some example if magnification is plus 2 then what can we say the sign is positive so it is virtual and erect and the value is 2 which is greater than 1 so it is double in size means the image is virtual and erect and enlarged clear another example m is equals to minus 1 now sign is negative then it is real and inverted sign is negative so nature is real and inverted and the value is 1 and we know that if value is 1 that it will be of same size clear example 3 if magnification is equals to minus 0 0.2 okay so magnification here is minus 0 0.5 sorry then sign is negative so we can conclude image is real and inverted and since we know that 0 0.5 which is less than 1 so image is diminished next example m is equals to minus 2 here we have already studied this case sign is negative so nature is real and inverted the value is 2 which is greater than 1 so image is enlarged many um, student thinks that minus 2 is less than 1 so how you uh, you are saying that sir it is greater than 1 so here i am just ignoring the sign okay so if i am taking the sign it will give the nature so if we want that uh, image is enlarged or diminished we have to neglect the sign and we have to we have to see only value okay so value is 2 so which is greater than 1 so image is enlarged clear so let us do a numerical based on based on uh, lens formula and this magnification okay so suppose we have an example if an object of 7 centimeter height so height is 7 centimeter it means it is the size of size of object okay and the distance of uh, placed at a distance of 12 centimeter from a convex lens so lens is convex and it is object is placed at a distance of 12 centimeter so this is position of object okay of focal length 8 centimeter so focal length of convex lens is 8 centimeter what we have to find out its position nature and height of the image okay so solution so what is given to us u is equals to negative 12 centimeter since i have already told that object will be always placed towards the left side okay and towards the left side all the distances will be negative okay so u is minus 12 u is always negative so that you have to keep in mind so the si sign of u will be always negative without thinking anything just put a negative sign in front of you okay and f is positive 8 centimeter why i am taking positive because it is convex lens so focal length of convex lens is positive here height is 7 centimeter and we have to calculate h prime so two values we have to find v and h and another thing is nature so how we can find the nature we have to calculate the magnification and by the sign of magnification we can find the nature okay so let us solve this question so from lens formula we know that 1 upon f is equals to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u just put the values so f is 8 and u is minus 12 so it will be 1 upon 8 is equals to 1 upon v plus 1 upon 12 so from here 1 upon v is equals to 1 upon 8 when plus 1 by 12 is transposed to this side its sign will be negative this is very easy calculation so 1 upon v is equals to 3 minus 2 by 24 and v is equals to plus 24 here you can see the sign of v is positive 
now we have to calculate the magnification magnification so magnification in terms of u and v it is m is equals to v upon u now v is positive 24 that we have calculated and minus 12 is given okay so magnification is minus 2 now you can see the sign of magnification is negative it means the nature of the image will be real and inverted so negative sign of magnification means image is real and inverted now we know that the magnification can be written in terms of height of image to the height of object okay so m we know that m is equals to minus 2 here we have calculated it already so put the value of mag m and h in this formula so m is minus 2 is equals to h prime by h so height of image is is, is minus 14 centimeter it is below the principal axis so the height of image is 14 centimeter below the principal axis how we uh, know that it is below because its sign is negative because we know that height is uh, either it is above the principal axis or below the principal axis so if si if its sign is negative means it is below the principal axis okay so this is the answer of this problem this is very easy question okay so we will do further numericals on next lecture but i want to emphasize that what you should do what you should have to keep in your mind while solving the numericals first things you have to check which lens is given okay if it is convex then its focal length will be positive okay so the focal length of a convex lens is always positive and if it is concave lens its focal length will be negative okay so suppose we have convex lens its focal length will be positive and if it is concave its focal length will be negative so this thing you should have to keep in your mind which lens is given if it is concave con concave take its focal length negative it is convex take its focal length positive okay second thing write everything which is given in proper sign so for, uh, then you have to write what is given to us with proper sign okay so u will be always negative as i told you u will be always negative while solving the numericals if u is given take its sign negative third is you have to keep in mind all the formulas all the formulas like lens formula which is 1 upon f is equals to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u magnification in terms of the size of image and the size of object which is m is equals to h prime by h and we can write magnification in terms of position of object and image which is m is equals to v upon u if this thing is clear to us then you can easily solve any numerical based on lens formula and magnification okay so this is it for today class thank you so stay at home stay safe and stay healthy